Well, folks, welcome to this week's Big Buck Profile, brought to you by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. I'm here today at the Wonders of Wildlife Museum at Bass Pro Shops in Springfield, Missouri. And in celebration of North American Whitetail's 40th anniversary of our magazine, we're profiling some of the greatest whitetails in the history of time. And this is a buck that needs no introduction. If North American Whitetail had a mascot, it would definitely have to be the hole in the horn. He's immediately recognizable and so many people's favorite buck of all time. This 328 and 2 8 inch net, non-typical, was found dead in Portage County, Ohio, way back in 1940 on the side of the railroad tracks. An outstanding 45 point, non-typical. And after he was found on the side of the railroad tracks, the buck hung on the walls of a local club for some 40 years until he was found by North American Whitetail co-founder Dick Idle. And when Dick actually purchased the rack from the club, the deer appeared on the December 1983 cover of North American Whitetail, and at that moment, he shocked the entire Whitetail world. There had never been a buck of this caliber unveiled to the general public, and so many people couldn't even fathom how big the deer was. Much of the mystery around the rack surrounds this massive club drop tine coming down on the buck's right side and the iconic hole that gives the buck his nickname. There's a lot of legend surrounding that hole. Some will tell you that it was made by a poacher's bullet. We have no way to prove this. Others say that it was made by a stiff piece of fence wire that punctured through the antler. It was years later when North American Whitetail's own Gordon Whittington conducted an interview at the original club where the buck hung. And the club member told us that the hole was actually man-made. They drilled through the drop tine because the buck was hanging off center on the wall. So many questions left unanswered about this outstanding buck, but we know that he is big in every way you can imagine. Tremendous mass all throughout, tons of drop tines, almost as much antler going down as there is up. Beautiful antler color and forever will be one of the best non-typicals still today, the all-time number two under the Missouri Monarch. This is a buck that so many people love and adore for obvious reasons and a proud mascot for us at North American Whitetail.